For transaction number two, we are required to record the receipt of a $15,000 bank loan. Under normal circumstances, we would use the general journal. And the general journal is used to record all complex and non-recurring transactions. So in this case, to record bank loan of $15,000, uh, we increase our bank account by 15000 an increase of an asset as a debit balance, and the bank loan, here I, I know the account number, which is 2620, and anyone who does not know the account number can simply click on the, uh, on the view button and select bank loan. The debits and the credits will always balance, and we post the transaction. So let us do this momentarily. And there we go. Now, the moment the transaction is posted, what will happen? Well, if we go to reports and financials and look at our trial balance, the trial balance will record all debits and credits. If you notice the trial balance, the debits equal to the credits, that means the, the trial balance is in balance. And if I would click on the bank loan on the account 2620, here's a general ledger. General ledger shows that we receive $15,000 and a liability is shown as a credit balance. We owe the bank $15,000 and what happened with the other transaction? Well, the other transaction goes to increase the bank account. We received $15,000 in our bank. And total assets now, or total assets pertaining to the checking account is $35,000. 20 plus 15 gives us $35,000. This is the balance we have in our bank account. Thank you.